Okay, um, this is a brief tour of the inside of an original 1957 uh, Stratocaster. Um, this is um, the blonde, what they call the Mary Kay finish. Uh, instantly you'll notice that there is this strange route that has been made down to the lower horn and that it seems was intended to have a switch there and if you look on the scratch plate uh, I had to do a repair there to fill the hole where the switch correspondingly would have been on the um, or on the scratch plate itself and just getting in a little closer you can see the sides of the pickups with the rather red, I don't know whether you can see them, the rather, um, uh, you probably can't see it too, perhaps on the last one, the red of the winding. You also see the um, completely shriveled, as if they're melted, um, rubber springs. Uh, in the 50s they used um, compressing rubber tubing rather than the later springs. Coming down here we see the switch here. I've got a sheet of white paper here because I just thought it might help to get the idea of how this guitar was discolored and you can see the sort of the zip capacitor on it. Um, it looks like the a volume pot has been changed, um, but otherwise the tone pots are original. This is the um, three-way switch that you can see. I'm just moving down into the saddle pocket. Obviously, um, this is pre-paint stick era, so the pocket itself is painted. Um, I'm just going to go around the outside of the guitar so you maybe just get a little bit more idea. It really pretty good condition, although loads of checking and discoloration. I'm just going to bring this white sheet down here a bit better. Not that perhaps the best light to see it in, but I think you get the idea. I'm just going to flip this scratch plate over, hopefully without breaking anything, so you can see where I had to fill a hole on the scratch plate there. Um, you know, people did um, these things in the 70s, the wire modifications, um, the original saddle and uh, trim mechanism. And the original pickup covers, remarkably uncracked, but interestingly discoloured. Another interesting thing is that the, um, how in the 50s, quite often the scratch plates, the white did not discolour at all. So you find the knobs discolour, you find the pickup covers discolour, but the um, scratch plate itself does not discolour. Discolour, sorry, discolour. Um, I'm just going to flip it over so you can see the um, goodies on the back. Um, uh, you can see that this looks like it is one piece of um, ash because the blondes would all have been made of ash. Um, one piece, two piece, whatever they had, it was only uh, the, uh, um, they started using all the, um, I understand from about 55, 56 onwards for the small solid colours. I'm just going to bring into view the back plate which is there. Again, you can see relatively white. I'm just going to flip it over so you can see the original. Oh, it's actually just a grubby on the underside and I've uh, taped the Allen key to it, but um, um, there you go. I'm just going to move on now to the neck, which I have just lemon oiled, so it's slightly dark in places. I should actually turn it around the other way because um, I 
seem to be the video upside down. Um, just going to give you a view of the neck. Just going to give you a view of the neck end as well, which has here um, a date on it of 6.57. I'll just show the underside there of the uh, pocket and the back of the headstock, which was, will have the single line tuners. So for identification, you know, pre, um, pre 60, 64 and pre, we're talking about single line tuners. Um, also, interestingly, and this is particularly for 57, not for earlier, I understand. If you look at the sculpting on the back there, it goes beyond the tremolo route. Okay, it goes quite a fair bit beyond. Um, so it's quite heavily sculpted. I'm just going to lift up so that maybe you can see how how the side is sculpted. You know, they're quite extreme. Bit of band sanding on these. Um, all very attractive. Um, and I already have a video up of me playing this thing so you can actually see it in one place but I thought it might just be useful if you see some of these features. Um, also in relation to the screws, the neck screws are, uh, the long neck screws are partially threaded. Um, that's a, that's a, uh, a 59, pre-59 thing. And so just to go back and remind people that in relation to the body, you've got, um, you haven't got that extra shoulder in the cavity plate. And in relation to the electrics, you don't have the shielding all the way under the scratch plate. You've just got that sort of triangular sort of thing under the pots. Um, uh, I'm not clear how much this that makes uh, affects shielding because these things do buzz when you um, when you're in a room with various electric things and particularly uh, fluorescent lights and uh, you know dimming lights and that sort of thing. Anyway, that, I just thought that might be of interest. Um,